it's Unwet's RC, and this is my level 1 to 99 ranging guide for members. So this is a little summary of what I will show in this video. So first of all, from level 1 to 45, you will train by killing troll shamans. Then after that, all the way to level 99, you will train at the abyss. Um, so first you will train with great chins, and then at level 55, you will train with red chins. You can also train at water fence if you want more experience in range and a lot more experience in summoning. Before getting started, I want to talk about couple influence. So first of all, with Herblore, there's the Extreme Ranging and Overloads potions, and there's also the Abyss mini quest that you will need to complete in order to use to access the Abyss. The mini quest only takes like two minutes, um, so it's really not a big deal. After that, there's the quest Do No Evil that is required to get the Ava Alerter, which is the best cape in the game for ranging, except like the Completionish cape. And then finally, there's the Dwarf Cannon quest, to have the Dwarf Cannon. Even though I do not mention or use the Dwarf Cannon in this video, it's very useful to use it if you are planning to do Slayer and stuff like that. A very useful skill is Dungeon Ring, because you will be able to have, for example, a Charm Imp that will collect the charms for you, so you save a lot of clicking. There's also the Herbicide that will grant you Herblo experience when you get herbs, and the Bone Crusher that will regenerate your prayer points when you get bones, even though it's not really um, used in this video. It will be useful if you're doing Slayer to train range. And finally, there's the Chaotic Weapons, so the Chaotic um, Crossbow, that are the best weapon at level 80 range. Another useful skill is summoning. So first there's the bunny and the unicorn stallion that will regenerate you over time. So useful um, if you don't have a lot of defense and health. Um, after that there's the beast of burden that will allow you to carry more food in the abyss. So kind of useful. And finally there's the geyser titan and the steel titan that can attack the other monsters. So you get more experience per hour. And finally, for the prayers, at level 43 you will unlock Protect from Melee, that will be very useful if you're low level in the Abyss. At level 70, if you have done the King's Ransom quest, you can also use Rigor, that will boost your ranging attack. Um, there's also Soul Split, level 92, after completing the quest temple at sentence 10, that will regenerate you over time, so it's very useful. You can pretty much stay as long as you want at any place with soul split so i really recommend to get it if you can and then at level 95 you unlock and quest which is kind of the equivalent of record but more powerful this is a little summary of the ranging equipment in runescape um so keep in mind that um the armor set do not have all the pieces sometimes so for example the green dragon eyes do not have boots so you'll want to use snake skin boots instead and for the weapons what i recommend is the crossbow with the crossbow of and only exception being the zarid bow at level 80 if you do not have chaotic weapons and there's also the um dark lotus dart level 85 which are in theory better than the chaotic um, crossbow, but it's kind of hard to get them because you need to unlock them with the player owned port. From level 1 to 45, what I recommend to kill is troll shamans. So they're very low level, very low life point and defense, but they give amazing experience um, about 30k experience per hour in range, and they have no requirements. The experience rate is pretty much stable because you pretty much one hit them at any level. So this is very good because like you will be able to see soon, they have pretty much no items requirements. Um, in theory, you, you could get better experience rate by killing baby blue dragons, for example, level 40-ish. Problem is if you include the fact that you need to go to the grand exchange, buy the stuff, go to the baby blue dragon, it's really not worth it. Level one to 45 only takes about two hours. Um, so. Simply stay at the Troll Shamans, this is what I recommend. The good thing about Troll Shamans is that you wanted them with pretty much any weapon in the game, so there's no need to get like super epic armor or super epic weapons, it won't affect the experience rate. So simply bring Bronze Bolt and Bronze Crossbow, you will be fine. Obviously you can bring better stuff, but it won't change much. So the troll shamans are located in a cave north of Birth Rock. So simply teleport to Birth Rock, run north, enter the cave, and then go to the east part of the cave where there will be 11 troll shamans. 
Okay, so from the birth rub on teleport place, you want to run north and enter the cave, then you want to go east, and there will be shamans. I do recommend to use momentum when killing the shaman, because anyway, you don't have any abilities to use, and it's easier to just go with momentum. Simply click them once, and you will pretty much one-shot them. Once all the shamans are killed, you can wait for the respawn, or you can simply use quick upping and up to another world, and then kill the shamans once again, and repeat. You will get about 30k experience per hour doing so. At level 45, you unlock great chance, and this means you can go to the abyss to train. You will also need to have completed the abyss mini quest, like I've mentioned earlier. So the great chain, what they do is that they explode when hitting a target, and they can hit up to 9 monsters at once, so it's really overpowered. You can get about 100k experience per hour at level 45, which is pretty epic. Unlike the troll shamans, abyssal creatures do it a lot. You will absolutely need to have good armors if you want to survive and get good experience for it. So this is what I recommend. So the obsidi obsidian cape, amulet of glory, archer's ring, and chinchampa, of course. And for the armor part, I recommend to use green dragon eye at level 45. So this is the body, shield, vambrace, and legs. And at level 50, you unlock blue dragon eye. So simply switch all that for blue dragon eye I guess. Uh, for the shield and the boots it's kind of tricky because there is no green dragon eye boots so simply use the snake skin bandana and the snake skin boots. Now for the inventory this is what I recommend so super defense and super ranging potions to increase your experience rate. You also need to have prayer potion to pray protect from melee. Um, it's pretty much a must and the rest should be food so what I recommend is sword fish. You can also bring no magic no paper but it's not really that useful at your level since you're banking so often but like you will be able to see at higher level it becomes very handy. Um, there's also the beast of burden that you could bring to bring more um, food but once again it's not really needed. The abyssal creatures are located in the abyss and the fastest way to get there is to simply use home teleport to Edgefield and then run north into the wilderness. So be aware that you can be PK'd while in the wilderness so be careful. Um, near the river there will be the mage of Zamorak, simply use the teleport option to be teleported in the abyss. Once inside the abyss it's PvP safe so you cannot be PK'd um, once you're in the abyss. Simply go to the, the two spots that are alighted in the video. Um, the one I prefer is the southwest part, but the southeast part is also very good. As you can see right there, I managed to reduce my stats, so I'm level 15 range and defense. Um, so I was in the Edgeville Bank, I simply run north, teleport with the Mage of Zamorak, and then I go to the southwest part. I pray protect from melee, very important, it will reduce by half the damage you will receive, and then I will pray rigor, Simply start attacking the monster. Yes, they take a lot of time to kill, but it's it's still very, very good experience. And yes, you will get it a lot. You need to eat food quite often, so you cannot away from keyboard this part. It would be really risky. So simply keep um, eating. A trip should last about 5 minutes at level 50 defense. And then once you're done, you simply want to teleport with your Amulet of Glory, which will which will be what I will do right there because my life got very low and I will bank, withdraw more food and then simply run back into the abyss and repeat. At level 55 you unlock red chinchampas that will grant you more experience per hour. The technique is pretty much the same, it's the same place and the same monsters but more experience. Now for the equipment, this is what I recommend. So first the Ava Alerter, Saradam and Murmur, Archer's Ring, Red Chinchampa of course, and for the Offen I recommend the Chaotic Crossbow with Royal Bolt. For the Armor part I recommend the Black Dragon Eye set, if you're level 70 the Armadil set, and finally level 80 Pernix set if you have a, ca a lot of cash. And be aware that you can be PK'd so be careful. For the inventory this is what I recommend, so a glory in order to bank, uh, charming M that will collect charms for you, overload, prayer renewal, prayer potion, a safety teleport in case you get PK'd, and finally magic not paper, it's not really needed, but the um, abyssal creature can drop stuff like the water talisman that is worth 10k, so it's if you want to make a little bit of cash, you can note them 
and bang them. Um, so this setup assumes that you have access to soul split. If you don't, then simply refer to the great chinchampa setup that is um, pre that I showed previously in this video. It's exactly the same place that when you train with great chinchampa. So teleport to Edgeville, run north, um, talk with the mage of Samurai to go inside the abyss, and then run to one of the two spots highlighted in the video. So from the Edgeville bank, you want to run north and then enter the wilderness, talk with the Mage of Samarak to be teleported in the Abyss, and then you want to run to the safe spot, put Soul Split on, put Inquish if you have it, use your overload, your prayer renewal, and start killing the monster. After 10 minutes, the monster will become unaggressive. And what you need to do in order to away from keyboard again is to run north and then come back south and the monster will be aggressive once again. Don't forget to put a momentum on and also um, auto retaliate if you want to away from keyboard. Another way to train range is by killing water fans at level 80. So water fans are amazing summoning experience. They drop tons of crimson charms and they are the best ranging experience of the whole game. So at level 80, about 300k experience per hour in range and at level 99 with the ascension crossbow, you can get up to 500k range experience per hour if you're good with the EOC abilities. Talking of abilities, those are the ones that I recommend. So there's Pursing Shot, Needle Strike, Ricochet, and Fragmentation Shot. Um, those are abilities that you can use at any given time. And their goal is to increase your adrenaline bar. Once your adrenaline bar is over 50%, you can use Snapshot, Rapid Fire, and Bombardment. Um, the last one, you it's an area of effect attack, so you can hit multiple monsters at once. And Ricochet, you can also hit multiple monsters with it. Now for the items, this is what I recommend. So if you don't have soul split, um, you will need to bring a lot of food. So your setup will be extreme ranging and extreme defense, prayer renewal with prayer potion, a lot of food, teleport and the charming imp to collect charms for you. And if you have soul split, then you don't really need any food. You can simply use soul split, of course. So overload, prayer renewal, prayer potions, um, herbicide if you want. It's not really needed. You can also bring magic note paper in order to you know the water talisman that they can drop. They can also drop a lot of more stuff so if you want a little bit more cash. And don't forget your safety teleport because once again you will need to go into the wilderness. And for the equipment I recommend to bring the Saradamin Murmur, Archer's Ring imbued. If you have it, Ava Alerter. And for the armor set, it's the full armor deal set or pernix if you have the cash. For the weapon, it's chaotic crossbows. And if you have the cash, ascension crossbows. The water fans are located in the chaos tunnel and the fastest way to get there is to use on teleport to Edgeville, run north and enter the chaos tunnel. Once you're there, you need to follow the path as you can see on the video and eventually you will reach the water fins. Okay, so like I just said, you simply want to run north from the Edgeville on teleport and enter the wilderness, enter the little crevice there in order to enter the chaos tunnel and then simply follow the path that I'm following myself. So um, simply click the different portals and eventually you will reach the water fence. Um, yeah, there's nothing much to say. Once you're at the water fence, you want to drink overload, pray renewal, pray your potion, pray anguish, and soul split if your health is low, and start attacking the water fence. I recommend to use revolution. Simply click the monster, wait, and the game will do everything for you. And when your adrenaline bar is over 50%, you can use the threshold abilities that I've mentioned: snapshot, rapid fire, and bombardment. So I guess that's pretty much it about this video, I hope you liked it and don't forget to click the notation on the screen to go check out my last guide which was a level 1 to 99 magic guide. So thanks again for watching my video and see ya!